Hi guys, welcome to this week's episode of Miss Planet. We are so glad you could join us. So this week we have a request from a community member and her name, I believe is pronounced Jenilee. So she writes us, hi Miss Planet, hi Jenilee. My wedding is soon and I want to include pampas grass into my arch decor and aisle. I'm planning on creating something like my inspiration picture. The toughest one thing is going to be the arch arrangement. Can you help? Thank you in advance. Well, not only are we going to help, we're going to show you step by step how to create this beautiful pampas grass arch for your wedding decor. I'm so excited to show you how simple it is. And guess what? I get a little help from Mr. Planet. So <laughs> without further ado, let's get started with this week's episode. Pampas Wedding Arch Decor. All right, guys, let's go. All right, guys, so this week's project brings us to Lowe's. I hope you can hear me over there, loudspeaker. And I'm walking around with Mr. and Miss Planet, <laughs> otherwise known as Babe, or Dude, depending on what we're talking about. And I think we're gonna use this piece of treated wood. It is 1998 and it will create the entire wedding surround that we're working on. So, all right, let's get this piece of wood back to the workshop. Okay, so we have our four by four treated lumber back at the homestead. And I'm now going to do the measurements. So the total is, is 12 foot long. So we're going to cut it in half first because I want to be able to frame the ceremony space. So I'm going to cut it in half first to six, and I'm going to take that six and make two or three separate pieces. I got to think about it first. So let's see how many pieces I'm going to get out of this. So after a little bit, I decided to go with two three and a half foot pieces and two two and a half foot pieces and so i had mr planet go ahead and cut them and let's put it together so we placed both of our pieces together in an offset pattern to just stabilize them more and we're going to go ahead and use a wood clamp to keep them in place while we go ahead and put a two and a quarter inch screw at a diagonal into the wood one piece at the top going into the other piece at the side just for that extra support now i'm only putting one screw at the very top of this the um arch decor but if you choose to you can also put one at the bottom just make sure that everything is level before you do that for those of you who don't live with a Mr. Planet or have a Mr. Planet in your life, no worries. The workers at the local home goods store will cut your wood for you. You just have to ask. So pick out your wood, tell them the measurement you want to cut at, and you can go right on home with your pre-cut wood. So we went with treated lumber because frankly, it's less expensive. When you go with your regular lumber, it can cost easily upwards of $40, $50 for one piece. So it tends to have a greenish kind of hue to it from the treatment. So the way we're going to um, lessen that is we're gonna use a little spray paint, but we're gonna do a little like whitewashing. It's no water, just simply the paint sprayed lightly and using a dry brush to brush the paint into the grain of the wood. And it takes that greenish hue right away. I want to remind you again that all of the links to all of our supplies for our projects are in the description right below this video. Just click on that little arrow and it's there for you. With that being said, I've given you the supply link for the Pampas grasses that give you all of these varieties. All of these varieties are in one package of 110 Pampas flower, dried flowers. So you don't have to go buy separate different packages. Just get this one and it has everything you need in it. And then I've also given you a link for the longer grasses. In addition to that, you'll have a link for these dried baby's breath. They have a really pretty name, but I always pronounce it wrong, so I'm not gonna attempt to now. But let's put our bundles together. So you're just gonna clip off the ends of your baby's breath, and you're gonna go ahead and put them together. Now, you'll notice that the stems are very weak. So I'm gonna show you a little trick how to create a 
more substantial stem with some basic gift wrapping tape. So let's go ahead and get that done. In order to camouflage our styrofoam, I went ahead and spray painted it lightly with our khaki Krylon spray paint. Um, it's really up to you. I just like it because it camouflages it and you can't see it. It looks very seamless. And then you're going to go ahead and start your pattern for your dried grasses. Now, I'm going to show you the pattern I used. You can use that pattern or you can create your own. Remember, here at Miss Planet, we give you the plan, you make it your own. So whatever pattern you do, I would strongly suggest that you repeat it on the lower, uh, on the lower styrofoam on your archway. So we're just gonna start with some two long grasses and then build off of that. And it's really that simple. Just a couple of helpful tips. The first being that it's a lot easier to pre place your holes using a little wooden dowel or a toothpick. Because the pampas grass stems can tend to be very weak, you don't want to break them by trying to insert them directly into the styrofoam. So just use that toothpick or little dowel to make your pre-planned hole. In addition to that, once you are satisfied where your grasses are going to be placed, I would strongly suggest you put a little dab of hot glue on the end of them and then reinsert them into the hole just for that extra stability. The last little reminder I wanna give you is that when you receive the pampas grass in the mail, they are going to come in a very tiny box and you're going to say to yourself, what is this? Don't worry. Your grasses will need to be taken out of the box, out of the plastic, placed in some sort of that base situation and placed direct in direct sunlight for at least three to five hours. And you will watch them magically fluff up. The more direct sunlight they get, the more fluffier they will be. Well, Jenna Lee, how did we do? I hope it turned out like you imagined. It's absolutely stunning. When my daughter saw this, my oldest one saw this, she was like, oh, I have to bookmark this for the future, <laughs> which was hilarious to me. She is nowhere near wanting to get married, but there's that. Um, in addition to that, I want you to notice that I had set this on plexiglass because my land is quite bumpy and so it was not an even level ground. So I would strongly suggest if you're going to use this outside that you put it on some sort of level platform. Otherwise, it will be tilty. Um, it should be fine on any kind of concrete or any kind of inside setting. You shouldn't have any problem with it being stable. Well guys, if you like this project, by all means like us. Subscribe so you can be the first to know when our videos are posted. And if there's a comment or a question that you have for me, go ahead and put it right down in the comment section. I answer them myself. If you want to hang out some more with us, please head over to our social media and hang out with us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. And if you have not already signed up for your Rakuten account, formerly known as Ebates, I don't know what you're waiting for. They pay you to shop. Just simply go down to the description, click on the link, sign up for your account. When you're ready to shop online, sign on to your account, make your qualified purchases, and receive a check at the end of the month. Well guys, our time has come to an end, but before we go, I want to remind you if there is a project that we can help you with, head on over to our website, MissPlanet.com, click on that link right there in the corner, and click on the Project Request tab and following the very easy steps. Please note, we fill up so fast, we are already filling up our schedule for 2023. So better to get your request in sooner than later. 
In addition to that, on our website, you'll find many, many picture and written descriptions and of our and written instructions rather of our projects. Head on over to our website, MissPlanet.com, for cost-saving tips and a free resource library. So, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We value you so much. We know you have so many options on YouTube and we do not take it lightly that you choose to spend your time here with Miss Planet. So with that being said, until next time, always remember when every penny counts, you can count on Miss Planet. Please take care of yourself. We'll see you soon. God bless.